Hello everyone. Welcome to USB Forensics and Pen Testing here at Pentester Academy. Today is a day that some of you have probably been waiting for. Why is that? Today we're going to start in on USB mass storage devices. So we've learned enough about USB in general and how it works so that now we can finally move on to our main topic for this course of mass storage devices. And we're going to start with a description of descriptors and endpoints that you will find in USB mass storage. All right, so what will you find in mass storage descriptors? A couple of things. The class for USB mass storage is 8. That's the class ID number. And the typical subclass number is 6. And what 6 means is that you're using bulk only transport. Now, bulk only transport means that all of the communications will be done on bulk endpoints. We'll talk more about those endpoints later. And then finally, the protocol is hex 50 which is the SCSI instruction set. Now, even when you have something that is just a flash drive, just a storage device and nothing else, for whatever reason, typically you will find the class, subclass, and protocol at the interface level, not at the device level. So if I grab, you know, any old thumb drive such as this one and I plug it in, I will find that it has the class, subclass, and protocol at the interface level. Another thing that's slightly different about the mass storage devices is that a serial number is required for a mass storage device. For many other kinds of devices, a Serial number is optional, but not in this case. All right, so let's talk about endpoints. So we said that we're going to use only bulk endpoints. And given that, at least two of them are going to be required, one for in and one for out. Now, these endpoints must support full and high speed. And something you should be aware of, full speed might be far from optimal. What I mean by that is the device is required to support full speed operation, but not very well. It's sort of like in the aviation world, if you have an aircraft engine, by regulation, it has to operate with half of its maximum oil capacity, but it doesn't have to operate efficiently. The same thing is true here with our thumb drives. The max packet size is typically 64 bytes for full speed and 512 bytes for high speed. All right, so let's have a look at descriptors and endpoints. So let's do a little demo. Let me go ahead and bring up my terminal window here. And as we are used to doing by now, I'm going to go ahead and run mod probe USB mon run Wireshark. Go ahead and put my Wireshark over here. And now I'm going to plug in my drive. I'm just going to grab one from my pile here at random. I have a, a few of these, as you might imagine. Plug it in. And now I'm going to do an LS USB 
figure out what bus was used. And sure enough, it was bus 3. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug and go back to Wireshark. And then we'll go to USB Mon 3, click Start, and plug in my device. And I see some traffic related to that device. I'm going to go ahead and stop. I see a lot of other traffic as well. which is something I probably didn't want. All right. If I go back to my terminal real quickly, do an LS USB, I will see that this is device 8. So if I go back to Wireshark, I'll say USB device address equals equals 8. And here we go. We can scroll to the very start. Notice that it is setting the address to 8 and as we're accustomed it first asks for the device descriptor and the device descriptor is here it says SanDisk Corp Cruiser Micro notice as I said that the class etc are all zeros then we request our configuration the first time and it says 200 milliamps is max power for the device. And then here we ask for the full configuration descriptor. So we have one interface. And that one interface is here. And it defines two endpoints. It's mass storage with bulk only transport using the SCSI protocol. The first endpoint is an in endpoint, and it's a bulk in endpoint with a maximum packet size of 512. And the second endpoint is also a bulk endpoint, but this one is an out endpoint, and it on this device, this has been designated endpoint 1, and this has been designated endpoint 2. As we said before, sometimes you'll have a manufacturer that will give them both the same number, which is allowed as long as they're a different kind of endpoint, although it can be a little bit confusing sometimes when you're dealing with them. Well, that's all for this video. As always, if you're enjoying your time here at Pentester Academy, Tell a friend and help us spread the word. See you.